fellow students welcome to lab number 31 of python for bca third semester as per the syllabus of ik gujral punjab technical university jalandhar this one is the title of the program multiply all the numbers in the list using functions first of all design the list n int input how many elements you want to enter in the list from user side suppose we are demanding the number of elements then we can apply the condition if user enters the number 0 or less than 0 then we can control that content print kindly enter positive value else declare one list empty list so that we can enter the data inside that list then for i in range n n number of times we have to execute the loop then list dot append enter the data from user side input then print the list print list is we can print the data here now execute the program suppose i am entering negative value kindly enter positive value again execute the program suppose i am entering zero kindly enter the positive value or you can do one more thing else if n is equal to 0 print it's not a valid value you can print like this now execute the program if i am entering 0 now it's okay it's not a valid value Suppose I am entering six here, eleven, seventy-six, eighty-seven, minus eleven, forty-five, and six. You can print the value. Eleven, seventy-six, eighty-seven, minus eleven, forty-five, and six. You can print the list in this way. Now the next step required is we have to design a function to multiply all the elements of the list. For that. what we have to do we have to design the function suppose one parameter is there what we have to do we have to find the product let's initialize product is equal to 1 then for i n list product is equal to product multiply i this way you can multiply all the elements in the list then you can print product of 
all the elements in the list is you can print here pro now call the function here and pass the list. Now execute the program again, how many element you want to enter in the list, suppose I am writing 4, 11, 2, 34 and 67. You can print the data over here, list is 11, 2, 34 and 67. You can find the product of all the elements in the list. 50116. Suppose I am executing some uh, content which is not uh, appropriate, kindly enter the positive value. Again, suppose I am entering 0, that is not a valid value. Suppose I am entering any other value 3, 2, 3, 4, you can find the product of uh, that item. First of all, you can print the data, then you can find out the product of all the elements in the list. I am going to repeat again. First of all, you have to design the list using this content. Enter the number of elements. If value is less than 0, if value is equal to 0, and uh, if the value is greater than 0, you can print the list. Then using function, you can find the product of all the elements of the list. Thanks for watching my video. In the next video, I will discuss about Fibonacci sequence using precursor. Thanks for watching my video.